Hey guys, welcome to Awesome Toy Box. I'm your host, T. Roy. Today, I got a couple of things for you. Um, I think you'll enjoy. It's nothing big, nothing major. Uh, if you can see, I am rearranging behind me. I got boxes and stuff everywhere, kind of trying to... You know, when you add in more stuff, you have to figure out some place to put it. And it gets difficult when you got to when you deal with a small room. But we're going to make it happen. But anyways, today, first thing I want to show you guys, I went at Target, 8.30 at night. I didn't want to go. I wasn't going to go, but my, I asked my son. I said, hey, should I go over check him out? He's like, yeah, let's go. And we found a chase at 8.30 at night in Target. The Brett Michaels. And I'm just letting you know, there. these are hitting tar These are at a lot of Targets, I've noticed, right? Just look for his hat. If you see his hat, you know it's the chase. He was in the very back all by himself. Uh, he does have a slight bowing right here on one side, but it's nothing big. I do already have him. I actually picked him up for someone else, but I thought that was pretty cool. So on top of that, I was searching on Facebook, kind of looking through, seeing what they had out there on Facebook Marketplace, and a thing popped up said free pops, which of course is almost always clickbait, which sucks. You know, I mean, like nobody gives away anything for free anymore. It's, it just doesn't really happen. But I was wrong because they did. They gave me this huge box of pops. But there is one catch. They were water damaged. They had a pipe bust. Um, a lot of his pops got damaged. I don't think there's anything overly special in here. But they claimed insurance. So he's like, you know what? I don't feel right selling them. I'm just going to give them away. I did give him a couple of anime pops because he said he liked anime and I was like, you know what, I can't just take, you know, there's probably 20 or uh, maybe 20 or more plus pops in here. And I was like, I can't just take them and not give them nothing. So I gave him those couple of uh, anime pops. A uh, really nice guy. So I thought we'd go through it and see what I got and just how badly damaged some of them are. Because I know I was kind of screening them a little bit. And some of them don't look like they got very much damage at all, if any. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is Flocked Chewbacca. He's, he's going to be up there on my flock shelf. He's out of box because his box was destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. There was nothing you could do about it. You know, sometimes on some boxes, like you can get some, you know, if, the, if you get some moisture on a box and it, there's ways of pressing them down. You could do things to make it to where you're not going to get a 10 box, you're not going to get a 9 box, but you might get a 6 or a 7 box out of it. So, there you go. That's that. So let's get into this and see what, what, what this guy gave us. First up, we have Iron Spider. Box Lynch exclusive. And this box, I mean... I don't, this one's one of the ones, uh, top of the box, I'm guessing the top of the boxes just didn't really get damaged that much. I'm not sure how much he's worth, but he's in real good shape. Next up, Carnage. Well, I know that's, this is not a very expensive box. Uh, and again, top of the box, I'm assuming. I don't see any damage on it really. Can't think, can't, can't throw that away, right? I mean, next we have the Golem. This is the Barnes and Nobles exclusive. It's the translucent one. I believe this is actually bolted now. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to double check it. But again, top of the box. No damage. I'll take it all day long. Next we have, okay, this one has some damage. This is the Flocked Crash Bandicoot GameStop exclusive. And it does have some significant water damage. I don't know if I can get to where you can see where it's bubbled up right there. And it's got some roughness in the back. But, and it's all uh, damage on the bottom too. But, hey, you know what? I mean, that's... A non-picky collector would still keep that right in the box. Picky collector, take it out of the box because the pop itself looks like it's fine. I didn't see no damage on the pop, but we're not going to be able to go open them all up and see what's through them or not because so, it'd take too long. But next one, this one's actually in a protector. 
This is the Toys R Us exclusive Crash Bandicoot with Jetpack. And it could be the protector protecting, showing, not, not letting me see it, but I do not see any damage on this. Well, another one, no damage. So I'm starting to think maybe they got, you know, they were are separated, but next we have the Superman Specialty Series. Uh, I am not seeing any damage on this either. Looks like it might got, uh, don't have like water damage, but it might have been near water. There's a little bit of a spot right there. One, one little, I mean, literally if I didn't have, if, if I was just glancing at it, I wasn't being like thoroughly inspecting, I'd never have found that. It's a good pop. And uh, I'll maybe go through later and tell you the total value of all the pops that this guy gave me, but I'm not really worried about it right now. I just thought it was cool to show you that. You know, there are people out there that do cool things. This one's Dryden Voss. FYE exclusive. And once again, this one does not look bad at all. Next up we have the Gold Chrome Thor. Everybody loves when they did they went through their little chrome phase over at Funko and looking all over it. I don't see no damage on this one either. Nice little pop. Uh, and go with Thor, you have to have Loki and well, you know what? This one does have damage, but like I don't think it's from water. It's like something was like he wasn't put away right or something, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna set him aside. I'm gonna fix him later because his box is not like it's got the damage, but it's not like water damage. I'll put that one aside and I'll try to fix it. See if we can get it back right. Next up, we have the Toy Story exclusive box lunch. Sorry, box lunch exclusive from Toy Story Land, the Army Man, and this is another one. That I don't see any damage on. That's very cool. I, can't, I mean, I can't believe he gave away all these ones that have to, seemingly don't have no damage. Next, we have the Target exclusive Dilophosaurus. I don't know if you can see that very well. He's all red, like Target. Probably one, I think those, that was a Target red card exclusive. But, well, I do not see any actual water damage on this one there's a couple of little things minor flaws but no water damage take it take it every day next we have <laughs> he's a gold chrome iron man look at him he's, he's i think he's sad i think he got sad because all of his buddy pops got damaged but he's i mean other than the fact that his head's not in like oh look at that there i fixed him He's, look, he's looking up high. He's a little happier now. He's seen that more of his buddies weren't damaged as he thought. There's no damage on this pop. None whatsoever. Again, take it. Okay. So, this one. Grumpy Bear. Flocked. Box Lunch exclusive. And it does have some water damage. You can see. I don't know if I can get it caught up on camera. Because I don't think it will, but... There is like a water damage stain, like a little drop hit it or something. I'm wondering if maybe, oh, there's some more right there too. Probably it's not bright enough to see it, but you can, if you, in, in person, you can see it. it's got a little brown stain. Again, nothing major significant. I think, you know, somebody, this is definitely one that you could keep in a box easy. The sticker, you can tell, did get some water near it somehow because it is like kind of wanting to peel away. But overall, I mean, that's like an eight, probably, maybe, maybe seven, depending. I mean, because you really have to look for those water stains. Ooh, this one's going to hurt. This one's going to hurt a little bit. This is the Hot Topic Venom. And he did get damaged. You can see his entire sides kind of caved in a little bit there. 
and he has water damage on top of that. Oh, got smashed in the back too. Smashed in the top. So, probably better at best to be out of box. Somebody else on out of box. But, I mean, he still has some value. I think he's still like a $40 pop. So, out of box, you look at it like $18, $20. I think I'd still keep him in the box, for, you know, because his front window is pretty much spotless. So, I mean, it's only when you go look into the sides and the top that you really see it. Still, for a free pop, cannot complain. Cannot complain. And next we have his buddy, or his not buddy. This is Anti-Venom. Box Lunch Exclusive, Glow in the Dark. And he does have some major water damage in the back. You can actually see where it's bowed from the water damage. Um, the bowing you can press out. You really can. It takes some time, takes some effort, and you have to be really careful. But unfortunately, the staining is on the white. You can't get rid of the staining, so it's, people will always know that it was a water damaged pop. But still, that's a cool pop. I think I, I'd still probably, if it was me, I'd still leave it in the. Because, like I said, the front box looks perfect. The pop looks perfect. If you're displaying it on the wall like that, no one's going to know this is a damaged pop. So, for a personal collection, it's a good pop for a personal collection. Next up, we have Darth Vader. This is the one where he's getting hit by lightning. And it looks to be. It's got a little concave. A little bit. A little bit. I, I don't think it's. I think it's got. It's not water damage, but like maybe like being around the moisture kind of damage this side because there's no like stain or anything. But you can definitely tell it's kind of like sunk in. Still overall pretty good. No major, major, major like. Like the Chewbacca damage yet. Uh, I'm kind of surprised with that. Oh, this poor guy. It's the Star Wars Porg Flock top, top exclusive. He will be going in my Flocked collection. But he does have some major water damage on the side. I don't know if you can actually see it. But he's got some pretty bad water damage. Uh, his box is in good enough shape though. Like the front and the, the side that I display outward. It's good enough. I'll just put him in a protector and put him up there. But still sad to see a pop get damaged. But still nice. I mean, it's a nice pop. Oh, next we have Thor. 2018 Summer Convention. Glow in the Dark from Ragnarok. And yes, indeed, this one's got some water damage right here in the corner. Water damage all along the back. But again, as it seems to be so far, the front, the display portions look good. But I mean, that's a pretty cool pop. Again, you remember, these were all free. Like, the guy didn't want nothing. I did give him some anime, a couple anime pops, offered him some anime uh, DVDs too, but he didn't want it. He didn't say he didn't need all that. He just basically was wanting to make sure they went to somebody. He couldn't. He, he couldn't keep them because of insurance or whatever. I don't know what to do. You know, I don't want to get in all that. But he wanted them just to go someone else who actually enjoyed pops. And I either will keep be keeping some of them home, and otherwise I'll be finding a good home for them. I know of quite a few out of box pop collectors. Uh, next up, we have the Pennywise Amazon exclusive. There is shelfware. Yeah, there's some shelfware. No damage. Another damage free pop. I don't know how some of them managed to. I mean, it had to be because they're at the top of the box. The top of the pop. I don't know. But you tell me what you think. Why you think some escaped and some. I'm assuming it's because of the, the level. But as we've seen, I mean, there's more than. Like if you think it was a box, it's just the bottom level would be damaged. But we've, we're seeing water up quite a. Quite a ways on some of these next up is the Pennywise with wrought iron from FYE exclusive and this one has some shelf wear but again no water damage pretty nice 
Okay, next we have, okay, this one's, uh, this one's bad. This one's going to be bad, sorry. If you're a fan of, of White Lantern, I'm sorry just to show you this, but Kyle, Wat Kyle Rayner, White Lantern, Glow in the Dark, Fugitive Exclusive, and he is pretty badly damaged. So I'm going to show him that way. You can kind of see the bubble. There's more bubbling on the back. I'm trying to show you. You can see the crease where the actually water tension went in there. Yeah, he's definitely an out-of-the-box pop now. I'll maintain him. Um, I won't be keeping him, so I'll let whoever gets decides they want them or if you if I sell them or something, I'll, I'll sell them for like out-of-box price, but they can decide whether or not they want to get rid of the box or keep it. I always think you should always keep the box if you can, if it's salvageable whatsoever, just so people know, you know where it came from. Next up, we have... The Red Iron Man Target Exclusive. I know this was a red card exclusive initially. And looking. Nope. No damage on that one. Pretty impressed. Next we have oh more chrome. It's Chrome Hulk. This guy must have collected all the chromes. This is what the third or fourth one? And there is just some shelf wear, a little bit of damage on the corner, but there is no water damage on this pop. Pretty nice, pretty nice indeed. Okay, DC again. Shazam, Hot Topic exclusive, glow in the dark. It's got some shelf wear on the top of it. Bottom looks pretty nice. Side and side. No water damage. Another one that escaped it. Which by the power of Shazam, they ex he escaped the damage. Ooh. Now this one's going to be the second roughest one. The first roughest one I saw was the Chewbacca Flocked. This one looks really bad. It's the 2018 Summer Convention Moaning Myrtle. And as I can show you, as I spin it, you should be able to see all of the waviness, all of the water damage. Yeah, she's pretty bad. But still, she's a glowing dark pop. Somehow I want out of box it. And yeah, I mean, let's show you just how bad, like you can actually see where probably was up against another pop. And when they pull them apart. So I'm starting to think, yeah, I can start seeing this is where the damage, the major damage is. Next we have Georgie. Denbro. And badly enough, you can see, he was touched to another pop. And ripped off. That kind of sucks. I mean, other than that one side, I'm guessing he must have been laying downward or something on top of it, but... Because it's just that one side that got damaged. And yeah, it's it's there's no way it's it's ruined. But anyways, Georgie. They could not escape the, the sewer again. Bad luck. <laughs> Next up we have from Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Magician Girl. And this is another pretty badly water damaged one. You can see the the waves in it. But she, I think she'd be, she's kind of decorative. Be a cool out-of-the-box pop. Next we have from Avengers Infinity War. Thor. And you can see this is one of the pops that were next to another pop. And the water damage definitely destroyed the box. So a lot of these, once I actually decide what I'm going to do with them, some of the ones I pull out of the boxes, I'll probably be giving away. Um, adding to those pops I give away, I'm going to try it, like I said, at, at um, 50 we're going to be doing more giveaways. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and get some other people in here to subscribe. Uh, because I'm, I'm, I got pops to give away, and who, want, who doesn't want free pops? Uh, again, you have to be within the United States. Outside the United States, shipping is just too high. I'm sorry. Um, 
Canada and Mexico are still up to debate. Well, actually, if you're if you're from Canada or Mexico, we'll actually check to see what the price is, and maybe at most, maybe we can do a split cost or something. We'll see what we can do about that. But, anyways, back to the things. This is Hank Pym on mast, and you can see water damage got him the pop, and he's warped along the side. Another one of the victims. Next up, another Chrome Black pa Panther Wakanda Forever, and I can tell you, he looks unharmed by the power of Wakanda. I'm telling you what, nice pop, no damage, it's always good. Next, we have another Chrome. It's Thanos. Walmart exclusive. Um, God, I've seen so many of these. You almost wish it would have been damaged rather than some of these other ones because this one is, there's no damage on it. None. Next we have from Thor Ragnarok. Toys R Us exclusive. Bruce Banner. I love Thor, Thor Ragnarok. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's one of my favorites. It does have a little bit of wire damage up in the corner, up at the top, and the bottom. You can kind of see the staining a little bit right there. Whoop, right there. But Bruce didn't make it. Next up, another Thor Ragnarok. Valkyrie 2018 Summer Convention exclusive, and this is a severely damaged, water damaged pop. Sucks. See why couldn't that Thanos be damaged? No, 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 no offense, Thanos, but come on. Valkyrie's cool. Double swords. Cool out box pop though. So next we have Wasp. Ant Man and the Wasp. She is damaged too. You can see the big wave. <laughs> oh. Definitely, definitely, I'm saying the, probably the pops at the bottom were super damaged. Oof, this guy got stuck to somebody else. Got Definitely got some water. It's Ares from Wonder Woman. And that is a Comic-Con limited edition 2017. Did not survive the water. God of War got taken down by Poseidon. He's got a very bad wet spot. You can see where he's peeled away on the top, top, bottom. He's got damage all the way around. Poor guy. Right, we got a, a few more. We got like seven left. Next up we have Gohan. And Gohan was apparently next to Ares. Ouch. Nick, oh, another Kyle Rayner, White Lantern. This is the non glowing Dark Fugitive toys. And he was not nowhere near as lucky as his buddy. Because he's got some severe damage. The other one has just kind of workable damage, I guess you would say. This one, not even close. He is destroyed. Sorry, Kyle. Ooh. Next we have from Street Fighter, FYE exclusive, Chun Li. And she is badly, badly water damaged. Just let you know, um, if you have a pop that gets moisture damage, not water, water damage, there's not really much you can do about it because it's going to leave stains and everything. But sometimes you get a moisture damage where I was trying to cause this bubbling. Take the pop out, flatten the, bo flatten the box, put a book underneath it and put it outside. Let the sun do its work on it uh, underneath the book. Let the heat dry it out. And sometimes it'll keep it from bubble, bubbling up. Sometimes it won't. I mean, you're kind of dealing with luck and as it is, but at least an attempt. it's an attempt. Next, we have the Gemini Collectibles exclusive Battle Armor Skeletor. And he did not survive the water either. I'm trying to see. Yeah, he's 
too far gone to try and save to it's a shame but I mean I really can't complain they were free I mean free next we got another chrome it's Captain America but Captain America was not as lucky as his counterparts because he did get water damage and you see the waves but still he's actually a really cool one I think with the gold somebody would like him out of, out of box Next we have from Ant-Man and the Wasp, Ghost, Walmart exclusive. Um, I think it's just got, it might have some moisture damage. It didn't get touched by water, but it's got a little bit, a little bit of swelling on it. Definitely can be fixed. So another good one, Ghost. And the last, but not least, well maybe it is the least because it is the flying porg only at target and I met you one to bet <laughs> yeah he looks like he is totally undamaged how does that work Funko gods were not with these pops let some live that should have died and let some die that should have lived but there you go that's it uh, told all in total we got let's see uh, 4 12 36 41 pops 41 pops for free um, like I said a lot of them are damaged but a lot of them work too so I mean like how uh, you can I can't complain nobody should be able to complain you get free pops that's the Funko God smiling down on you but anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, short video uh, it's not really short video it's kind of a long video but I hope you enjoyed it I hope you liked it all I'm not gonna add do one of my favorites because it's already been kind of a long run video um, Please pass on the word. Remember, we're climbing. I think we're at 32 subscribers. We need 18 more so we can get that next drawing done. Um, I haven't heard back yet anybody who actually got their what they won yet. So as soon as I start hearing back from that, I want them to be surprised before I put out what they won and what was available. And then on that same video, I will show everything that's going to be up for grabs. And some of them might be some of these pops right here that got the water damage that we're going to take out of the box or leave in the box if you want it that way. Um, you guys let me know what you think. Anyways, comment, like, subscribe, and always remember, just like this guy did, collectors always help collectors.